Today's lesson is on tenths. Here we have a decimal. If we were to put this into place value, we have zero ones. And just like fractions from last chapter, we're dealing with things that are less than one whole. So we have our decimal point, and then when we move over to the right from our ones, we have tenths because it takes 10 of those to equal one whole. If I was to draw a model of two tenths, it would look like this. I have 10 parts that equal a whole, and I have two of those. If I wanted to use words to describe two tenths, I could describe it as two out of 10 equal parts, or in word form, simply two tenths. We could also graph two tenths or any other decimal on a number line. So here we have zero on the left of our number line all the way up to one, and everything on this number line is less than that one whole. So if I have a decimal such as five tenths, I can start from zero and work my way five parts over. So one, two, three, four, and five, and that is five tenths. And I can plot this there, right there in the middle of my number line. If I had a second decimal, such so as eight tenths, I could do the same. Although I wouldn't have to go all the way from zero, I could keep counting on from five tenths. So six, seven, eight tenths. And I can plot this as well. Today we'll be doing a little bit of all of this. So here are my example problems. My instructions say to model and write each decimal, then graph it on the number line. So let's start with 3 out of 10. First step is to model. So let's fill in 3 out of my 10. 1, 2, 3. Next, I need to write each decimal. So 3 out of 10 would equal 3 tenths. Last part of our instructions, then graph it on the number line. So we're going to go over 3 tenths, and we graph it. My second practice problem, same thing. I need to model 6 out of 10. So there's 6. Write it as a decimal, six tenths, and then graph it on the number line. I have my three tenths already down there and my five tenths, so I can just count one tenth past five tenths. And there we go, six tenths, and it's graphed. Go ahead and try these next two yourself. Your first problem is 2 out of 10, and then 5 out of 10. Model and write each decimal, then graph it on the number line. When you're done, we'll have you check your work and see how you did. Go ahead and pause. All right, here's 2 out of 10, modeled, written, and graphed. Your second practice problem, Five tenths and graphed right there in the middle. If you're feeling good about this, let's do two more that you'll show me in class tomorrow. This time you're going to do one out of ten and eight out of ten. Thank you for listening to our lesson on tenths today, and I hope you have a great day.